I was going to say, did you know Birmingham was the centre of a scientific revolution thanks to its erratic boulders? I bet Matt knew that. Yes. He knows everything. Yes. Large stones scattered around the area led to the discovery of a British ice age. They became a huge tourist attraction when they were found 100 years ago and now they've been rediscovered by a group of enthusiasts, as Ben Sidwell explains. They're all around, lurking among us. Some more discreet, others hiding in plain sight. These are Birmingham's boulders, carried by huge glaciers some 450,000 years ago from Snowdonia in North Wales during the Ice Age. Oh, isn't this a beauty, Ben? Don't you want to caress it, smoothed by ice? Ian Fairchild is a former geology professor from the University of Birmingham, where one of the boulders was first found back in the late 1800s. In the uh, 19th century, of course, they were just grappling with the idea that there had been an ice age and, and people were getting everything mixed up with the, the biblical flood and how did it all fit together. Um, and Birmingham was quite a pivotal area in actually trying to unravel what was going on. It was around the turn of the 20th century when people began to get really excited about Birmingham's boulders. Many were moved to more prominent locations like here at Cottridge Park and became real attractions. They would put um, bits of interpretation up so people knew what they were looking at. Some of them had fences round and there were lots of pictures and people in their finery having their picture taken with these because they were the latest must-have buzz thing. They wanted people, look, look where I went, look what I saw. Just down the road in Bourneville, another three ancient boulders with a connection to a rather famous factory. These boulders were found during the building of the Cadbury factory. Uh, they were known to be something very different from the local rocks and the Cadbury brothers were very interested in them, but it was when they appointed Louis Barrow as chain, chief engineer. He knew their significance and it's because of him that they've been preserved. Over time, people lost interest in the boulders, but recently a new group of enthusiasts have started Birmingham's Erratic Boulders Project. And back at the University of Birmingham at the Lapworth Museum of Geology, there's an exhibition telling the story of the stones. This was that genuine solid evidence, you can touch it, and say this example in places with no ice, you're in Birmingham, we have no ice, we've never had ice, ice brought these rocks here and left it here. And we know where it came from and now we know how it got here. And that just changed the story for everyone everywhere. Of the boulders that were mapped in 1890, most have disappeared. In fact, the project only know of 130 that remain. One of those that did disappear was here, Row Heath Recreation Ground, a boulder that was eight feet by five feet by three feet. It was a big boulder. And if you know where it is, the team would love to hear from you. Ben Sidwell, BBC News. Who knew? Who knew? Boulder enthusiasts. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm now an enthusiast as well. <laughs> we all are.